10 Best Places to Visit in Japan Japan is a very popular tourist destination. A large number of tourists are attracted by the history, culture, and delicious foods in Japan. There are many beautiful places in Japan that can be visited on foot or by train. This video will guide you through the 10 best places to visit in Japan if you want to enjoy more fascinating things in Japan. Tokyo. It is the capital of Japan and one of the most populous cities in the world. It was also one of my favorite places to visit while I was there. Tokyo has a lot of things to offer, including museums, parks and gardens, palaces and shrines, as well as many other historical buildings that span over 200 years. In addition to these main attractions, there are also several popular districts, such as Harajuku, where you can find loads of trendy stores selling unique clothes for young people. Shibuya, where you will find lots of restaurants serving delicious food from all over Japan. Shinjuku Station, where you can buy tickets for JR trains that travel throughout Japan. Akihabara Electronics Avenue, which is full of electronic shops selling everything from computers to phones and tablets, etc. Nara. It is a small town that was once the capital of Japan, with over 1 million people living there. It was also the first capital of Japan and has many temples, shrines, and buildings to see. One of the most famous landmarks in Nara is Todaiji Temple. This huge temple was built in 752 AD, and it's now one of the biggest buildings in Japan. It has been restored so many times that it looks brand new. Another huge area to see is Kofukuji Temple. This temple was built by Heian period emperors as a place for people to pray for good harvests and long life. If you want to do more than just walk around, then you can visit Kinkaku-jai or Yumadono temples, which are both located near each other in Nara Park, but they are both very different from each other. Kinkaku-jai is known as the Golden Pavilion, because it was constructed with gold leaf on all its surfaces, while Yumudono Temple is known as the Floating Cloud Temple because it was built on top of floating clouds. Minty Fuji and Hakon, the two of the most popular destinations in Japan, and for good reason, they're both beautiful places to visit. Minty Fuji is the highest mountain in Japan and an iconic symbol of Japan that has inspired artists throughout history. It's also known for being one of the most difficult hikes in all of Asia. Though there are several ways you can get up, if you're looking for something less strenuous on your trip to Meitu Fuji, then consider hiking around Lake Kawaguchi instead. This lake is surrounded by mountains on all sides, so it's perfect for enjoying views from afar without having to deal with steep inclines or long walks uphill or downhill if you're coming down from your hike up Mount Fuji. Hakon Onsen Town is another popular destination within Hakon Prefecture that offers many opportunities for relaxation during your stay there, including hot springs baths where people come from around Japan just so they can relax under these natural hot springs pools, bubbling away at their temperatures over 100 degrees Celsius, which makes them extremely soothing after spending time outside during scorching summer temperatures elsewhere right now. Sapporo and Hokkaido. It is a city in northern Japan that's home to the Sapporo Snow Festival. While it's not the most beautiful of the cities we visited on this trip, it's definitely one of the most unique. The city is filled with ski resorts and forested hillsides, making it feel like you're in the middle of nowhere when you're actually in an urban environment. It is also long known for its winter sports and as the gateway to Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost island. Sapporo is also a major university town, located just north of the capital city of Tokyo. Hokkaido boasts some of Japan's most beautiful scenery and is an ideal destination for anyone who loves nature. The region is home to Meiti Asa Hideke, which is one of Japan's most popular peaks, with hikers who want to get up close and personal with this natural wonderland. There are plenty of other activities available such as hiking, fishing, or skiing on nearby slopes if you prefer not to venture too far from your accommodations. Nagano and the Japanese Alps Nagano is Japan's snow capital and home to one of the country's most beautiful ski resorts. The town itself is small and cozy, but it's surrounded by mountains and forests that provide plenty of hiking and camping opportunities. As for skiing, 
you can enjoy both downhill and cross-country skiing at several different locations in the area. There are also two alpine resorts nearby, Kiso Valley Ski Resort and Lake Toya Ski Resort. Nagano is also known for its hot springs, which have been used for centuries by locals as a way to cure ailments such as arthritis or rheumatism. The city has more than 50 hot springs scattered throughout its forested areas, including some that are open only to locals. If you have time before your flight home, consider spending a day soaking in one of these natural spas located just outside of town. The Japanese Alps are home to some of Japan's best ski resorts, including Hakuba Valley and Matsura Ski Resort. Both offer various types of cross-country skiing trails that are perfect for beginners at first, then switch to more advanced tracks if you're ready. The area also has plenty of hiking trails that allow you to explore the countryside on foot or by bike. You can even enjoy a night out at a hot spring resort located near the ski areas. Kyoto. It is a city in Japan. It was the former capital of Japan, and it's also famous for its temples and shrines. Kyoto is a great place to visit if you want to see some of the most important historical sites in Japan. The city has many beautiful temples and shrines, as well as other landmarks like Kyoto Castle or Jinkakuji Temple. The city has been loved by many people since ancient times. It was once considered one of the most important cities of Asia during medieval times. In addition to its historical significance, Kyoto has also become an important tourist destination because its natural beauty makes it so special. Hiroshima and Miyajima Island, the most famous places in Japan. The island is also known as Gokokuji Temple Island, which was built by Emperor Shomu in 710. The temple was destroyed by fire in 1638 when it was rebuilt a second time by the Jesuits. The island also has many other historical sites and ancient shrines. The island of Miyajima is small and only takes about two hours to explore. There are many interesting things to see on this island, including the Tori Gate, which was built from 1333 to 1334 by a monk named Kiyotsuna. It was destroyed during World War II, but was restored after the war ended. The Hiroshima Peace Park is located right next to the atomic bomb dome that houses artifacts from that terrible day in 1945 when America dropped an atomic bomb on this city. There are also many museums around this area where you can learn more about Japan's history with nuclear weapons and what happened on that fateful day when Americans dropped their bombs on this city back in 1945. Okinawa. It is a chain of islands in the southernmost part of Japan. It's known for its beautiful beaches and has been featured in many movies, including Pearl Harbor, The Last Samurai, and Kill Bill Vol. 1 and 2. In addition, it's also home to some of the best hiking trails in all of Japan. Okinawa's landscape is quite diverse, with mountains and hills on all sides. The island has many different climates, including tropical and subtropical ones. One of the best ways to see Okinawa is by taking a ferry ride across the strait between mainland Japan and Okinawa Island. The crossing takes just over an hour and costs roughly $10. There are also several different types of accommodation available throughout Okinawa, including hotels and hostels, as well as more expensive digs like villas and apartments. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in all of Japan. If you're looking for an escape from city life, Okinawa can provide just that. It's perfect for those who want to swim off some incredible white sand beaches or explore their own island. Kamakura. It is a city in Kanagawa Prefecture, Japan, about 25 kilometers south-southwest of Tokyo. The city was designated by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 2013. Kamakura was an important port in medieval Japan and during the Sengoku period, 15th to 16th centuries, it became an important military stronghold and one of the most powerful cities on earth. Today, it remains popular with tourists who come to see its many temples, shrines, and historical sites, such as Hasadera Castle and Inoshima Island, which offer stunning views over Tokyo Bay. Osaka, the city of contrasts. It's one of the world's busiest ports, home to numerous temples, and a thriving metropolis in its own right. The city has a strong sense of history, 
as well as a modern face. Osaka is home to many of Japan's most popular tourist attractions, including the Naniwaku and Yumeta districts. Naniwaku covers what was once the bustling port town of Osaka before it was destroyed by fire in 1665. Today, it's filled with restaurants, bars, and shops that serve as a focal point for visitors looking to explore the city. The district is also home to Kitayumida Station, which connects Osaka with Kyoto and Kobe via bullet train. The bustling shopping district, known as Yumeda, sits on the other side of JR Line from Naniwaku and offers visitors an opportunity to check out one of Japan's largest department stores, Hankyudenchi, before heading out for dinner or drinks with friends. As you can see, Japan has a lot to offer. It's nice to have such a diverse country with so many things to do. And it's even better when all of those things are scattered throughout the country. In fact, if you want any more opportunities to visit Japan, there are plenty more places that aren't listed here. So go ahead and start planning that trip. But remember, it doesn't cost anything more than some travel time and money. I hope you enjoy this video. Leave your comments below and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming interesting videos.